Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Valder Beebe of the Valder Beebe Show. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank Shelly Lyford and Karen B. Uh, Bicara for joining me this morning. They say, according to the statistics, that seniors may actually have more cavities or a higher cavity rate than children. I'm so shocked by that, guys. I really am. I'd like to let my guests know, <laughs> uh, guests know that Shelly Lyford is president and CEO of West Health Institute. And Karen Bacara, she's a dentist. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank good you morning, so Valder. Much. Thank you for having us. I would like to start, if I could start with the dentist, Karen. Karen, is that true? I know that's true. That, that, that's, that's startling that seniors may actually have a higher rate of tooth decay or cavities than children. I know, it is very shocking. But seniors do take a lot of medications, and those medications have a very common side effect that causes dry mouth. The acidity in the mouth changes and makes them very prone to develop a very rapid, evolving, nasty type of tooth decay that is called root decay. That's what makes them more prone to develop cavities than even children are. Shelly, you guys opened um, the Gary and Mary West Senior Dental Center. Obviously, there's a need. Tell us about this opportunity. Yeah, there is a profound need. Millions and millions of seniors across the country are suffering and really suffering in silence from tooth decay, gum disease, loss of teeth, infection, different sorts of oral cancers. And what we have done in San Diego is create a new model of care called the Gary and Mary West Senior Dental Center that actually begins to recognize the fact that for far too long we have separated the mouth from the body. And we have developed an integrated model of care where we are providing oral health services along with basic medical services and much needed social services. And this new model of care is going to address the decades-long problem of lack of access for our seniors. I, I so agree with you guys. I don't have any investment in any dental centers or anything like that, but I have taken care of my 99-year-old uh, aunt Hi. in the past. And one of the things is she had great services, private services, but no dent there, there was really no good dental model to spur you to say let's go to the dentist and we did go to the dentist and we did it out of pocket right and it was expensive it is very expensive but there was no incentive under any of the programs uh, uh, to get them to the dentist so how can we get them to the dentist especially when boomers were taking care of our parents right that's right. I mean, Valdo, the problem that you've outlined is far too common. And seniors, for the most part, are really shocked to learn that when they're eligible for Medicare, that they do not have access to a dental benefit. Furthermore, in the case that you just outlined in your own family, less than 30% of seniors in our nation even have private dental insurance. So Medicare compounded with a lack of private insurance is really exacerbating this problem around access to care. And if there aren't any incentives and if it's expensive, our seniors are simply not going to prioritize their dental health and other health conditions are going to become exacerbated. We're a nation that, I, I, doctor, I have to even add, and this is just my opinion, we're a nation that obviously dental health does not have a high priority. I, I, I've never seen it the way that it is. If you don't have your own insurance, it's not a priority for the programs that we buy into. But I'm not going to get on that little soapbox. I'm going to talk to Dr. DeBecca. <laughs> Dr. DeBecca, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Becker, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. When uh, we have dental seniors with all of these problems, a lot of times 
we don't spot them. Give me some tips that we can spot them. Well, the key and what, what we do at the Gary Mary West Senior Dental Center is early prevention and oral health education. It's very important to tackle and be very proactive on those healthy habits that we all learned when we were kids. Because as baby boomers are going to increase by the years, it's going to be more important now than ever. Brushing, flossing, drinking water that is fluoridated. It's very important because of that dry mouth that I was talking earlier about. It's, it's going to be the way in which seniors are going to have an opportunity for those teeth to get stronger and fight that type of tooth decay that is going to be so common. It's also very important to seek professional care when possible and to quit smoking. Thank you so very much. I could talk to you ladies all day because I think, and you already know this, good medicine in the future, this is where it's going to lie. This That's is right. one of the revolutionary services. We don't realize that now, but we need these services, and I thank you guys for being ahead of the game. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Valdar. Where you want to, do you want to send my audience on the web to get more information, even though they may not be in your location? Absolutely. You know, and for those uh, uh, listeners in Dallas, I'd recommend that they visit their local AAA, their area agency on aging, to learn where they may be able to access dental services. But of course, I want all of them to visit our website, seniordentalcenter.org, where they'll learn more about prevention and how they can care for their oral health. I can see you guys with centers across the United States. Thank you. I wish, I wish you the best. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.